Hello everybody, this is Andrew, also known as Nature Man. In today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, just a couple of new plant stock we just got in at the nursery. It is springtime and uh, there's a lot more of these videos to come. I'm going to be going over maybe just one or two special kind of arborvitae we got in at the nursery. Here we go. All right, this one right here is called a leprechaun arborvitae. It is a dwarf, uh, Thuya uh, plicata. Uh, that's actually a hybrid, just like the Green Giant, Thuya Placata X Standishii. That's a hybrid between a West Coast Arborvitae and a Japanese Arborvitae. And this is just like the Green Giant, except it's a dwarf. If any of you have heard of the Green Giant, it's a very popular screen tree for large areas. It gets, you know, 40 feet tall, 20 feet wide. Look at that. So it says 8 to 10 feet tall, 4 to 6 feet wide in 10 years. You know, and less than 20 feet tall by less than 10 feet wide in 20 years. Uh, zone 4, that's debatable. Probably Zone 5. Uh, I've seen them get winter burn in Zone 4, but yeah, if you have them protected, they'll survive Zone 4. Really neat. It's a new variety we've never carried before, so I'm really excited. It's a nice dwarf variety, so if you guys see this, I would look out for it. And of course, we've got the infamous Green Giant. This is a great option for large areas. Again, these get 40, 50 feet tall, 15 to 25 feet wide. I've seen these grow in excess of three, four feet a year. In some cases, faster than the classic Norway spruce that you see in every landscape in Eastern North America. <laughs> uh, but in all jokes aside, it's, it's a good option in that they do grow a good pyramid shape so you can put Christmas lights on them. Uh, you can even just as a standalone accent. It's that kind of tree. It's not like the skinny emerald green. This is an actual tree. And they're soft and they're not prickly. Again, they're hardy at about minus 20, minus 30 Fahrenheit. You kind of see the effect as a screen there, though I would probably space them more than that. Uh, I typically space green giants about 10 feet from center to center to give them room to grow so they don't choke each other out. And then finally here, we have the Northern Spire. Thuya plicata. Unlike the green giant and the little leprechaun that's a hybrid, this is just a true Thuya plicata, just of a western arborvitae. Northern Spire is, I essentially think it's a west western arborvitae's version of an emerald green. Now, emerald green is the common skinny evergreen you see in everyone's yard. That is a Thuya occidentalis, the eastern arborvitae. The northern spire is essentially the same thing, just of a different species, native to the west coast. Uh, zone 3 is inaccurate, it is zone 5. But yeah, roughly 15 by 5 at maturity. Um, yeah, it is not a zone 3. That is, that's why you don't always rely on these plant tags. That's completely wrong. It's a zone 5. It will die in zones 3 or 4. But a beautiful, skinny arborvitae, and it has a much more textured and lush green and larger needle than the traditional emerald green. So a good, if you like that emerald green style, skinny and dwarf, but you don't want to do the same emerald green, try a northern spire, spice up your landscape a little bit. It's really just a, uh, an emerald green, just of a different texture. A really neat arborvitae. Uh, yep. Well, more videos to come as we move on into March. This is Nature Man signing off. Bye.